Hey guys, I'm Maibu, and this is Tobias. Join me as I give you a tour of my new 1998 Country Coach Allure. it was the previous owner's last name. It used to say Vernon and Sheila here in the bottom, but I peeled that vinyl off. And I think the A fits it because, you know, it's an allure, and A on the first letter is allure. Um, so yeah, I've got chrome wheels by, I, I don't know how you pronounce this name, Alcoa or whatever you want to call them. Um, so in here is my 100 pound propane tank. I think it holds about uh, 40 pounds or 40 gallons of uh, propane, I'm not entirely sure. This bay here, it's not a pass-through. Just holds uh, my toolbox and some other things as well, but um, it did have a pull-out drawer, and this is where there was a TV mounted, but I took it out and I put it inside and just made this my uh, maintenance bay of some sort. But I'm gonna end up replacing that uh, um, drawer there and put a more one that can that can be pulled out more easier. In here is just another bay. This one's not a pass through either. It's just more storage um, for all of my stuff. Um, they're messy at the moment because when I moved out of my uh, last RV, I had to just take everything out of it and just shove it in these bays. And this one is a pass through, but it also has dual slide out doors um, for easy access. Um, with all the weight though on the other side uh, where the spare tire used to be, um, put a lot of uh, stress on the board so it sank so now it's hard pulling on the other side I'll have to probably replace that um, as you can see I've got uh, just a wire sticking out here I've got um, on the awning a light that goes all the way through you can also see if you can see this it's all lit up all the way down um, it looks really nice in the dark this awning was replaced there was a factory awning that was here at one point but I'm guessing it got tore off and got destroyed by the previous owners and then they put this one in. It is powered. Um, back and forward button brings it in and out and it moves out in and out nice and smooth. Um, hot water heater, more storage there. The chrome Alcoa rims in here is the battery bank. It's got uh, three 8D batteries. It's got the starting battery and two house batteries, but I'm probably gonna have to replace the uh, house batteries at some point because I don't think they're holding too well of a charge. We'll find that out once they get on the road. And here is where the um, uh, water fuel separator um, filter is and also the switches to kill the power throughout the coach. Um, then it's got uh, another awning here, which is nice when the sun is out. Um, blocks it out and it keeps it somewhat cool inside. Back here is uh, another A. <laughs> um, it also did say burn sheet on the back, but tried to peel it off but I can't get the, uh, the sticker glue off. So what I have here is the heart of the beast, uh, a Cummins 8.3 liter. Um, I don't know much about diesel engines, I'm still learning about them because I've always done um, gasoline engines for all the motorhomes that I've owned and as you can see in here it's kind of dirty. Um, I have to probably get in here at some point, clean everything up and make it look nice again. Ladder here, most standard on most RVs have. This one has a flagpole on it, 
Um, I did have a flag on the pole at one point, but there's horses here at this horse ranch, and they don't like flappy things, and it scares the hell out of them. So, yeah, I took that down. Um, then I have my Country Coach uh, front guard flap on the bottom that I need to replace. Somehow it got melted on one side by the previous owner or something. It's also got a tear in it, so I'm going to have to replace that. Um, tip exhaust. I just love to remove the exhaust and make it sound like a true diesel going down the road like the semis. I like how that sounds. Then I have a 50 amp serv uh, service outlet here, um, but I can only run 30 amp because the plug that I'm connected to only supports up to 30 amps. Um, big radiator, another awning here. There was a fourth awning on the slide out over here, but unfortunately when bringing the slide out, um, it got snagged on one side and decided to bust it completely off. Um, I don't think it's really needed, but when I go to bring the slide in, I'm going to have to lift that flap up there um, so it doesn't catch on it when, when I bring the slide in. You can see the awnings on the ground there. It's bent and broken. I'm going to see if I can find someone that can fix that. There's the um, sewage and water uh, department in here. Um, got the outdoor shower. I've got this here because this, for some reason, behind here somewhere, the valve is stuck open and water is stripping on. I keep losing my uh, water pressure, so I had to do that for now. And it's got, you know, hose storage there. Um, I think that's to clean the tank. When you uh, empty it out, you connect the hose there and flush the system. Um, I got that open because I got a little bit of a water leak down there I need to address. Um, it's also causing pressure loss. And here are the other side of the pass-through bay. This is the side I was talking about that has the problem where the, um, the board uh, is catching on the latch because the center of the board has sunk down from the weight of the spare that used to be in there, which I don't know where the spare is. It didn't come with it. Um, under here, under this bay here, I've got... Um, some extra uh, house batteries from Trixie that I was going to connect as uh, alternative power source, but I never got to it. And then that one there has got all the decoration mats for around the RV when you're camping or whatever. My 7,000 watt generator's in there. It's also diesel powered. Um, yeah, you can see where the spot where the awning used to be next to on. I've got some stuff that's going on. I got to dress like the seals are loose. It is a 98 and it's got. 90 something thousand miles on it, so it's going to have those problems, you know, for its age. But I'm going to try to address them as I go along. Uh, I did replace all the outdoor um, lights from incandescent to LED, so they're nice and bright. Um, this door is taped shut because I need to get keys for these locks. This one likes to fly open going down the highway. Um, when I bought the RV, the previous owner didn't have the key for any of the bays, so I had to have them made. Lost a mirror going on the highway when I purchased this RV. It just flew right off, and now I have to get one for it um, at some point. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, this is the exterior of the coach. Um, it's got two AC units on the roof. It's got a big satellite dish for um, Dish Network, or I forget which which provider it is. But yeah, I don't use it though. I don't watch TV. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look inside, and I'll show you the inside.
inside now. My cat there just, you know, watching what's going on. Come on in. So as you can see, this is Tobias's control panel. Um, got all his um, different controls, the automatic transmission controls, jake brake, battery, whatever. Um, it's got a reverse camera back here. Um, I've got a CB, but the, the CB doesn't want to work. The antenna is kind of missing. I have to put one on. Um, the seats are covered up with the blankets because having a cat, you know, they like to claw. And, well, I'd rather protect these seats as best as I can. So as you're coming in, this is what you see. All this right here. I got my desk over here where I do all my work and play games and what have you. And then I've got a couch here. This couch used to be on this side, but... Um, I needed a place for my desk, so I decided to take the couch that was here out because it was actually pretty nasty. It was a cloth couch, and they didn't take care of it, whoever had it before me. So I moved this couch over here, and Mr. Peep there is just sitting there enjoying uh, watching all, all that I do all day. Um, more blankets in the back to try to protect the back part because, you know, cat claws. Um, as you can see up here, I've got a lighthouse uh, tracker up here, and i got one also up here reason for that is because I do VR stuff. Um, I got my badges hanging here. Probably gonna put more on there. That's a really cool light strip. It came with the RV. I like the, um, I forget what they call the word. Um, yeah, I can't think of it, but yeah. I've got a table here. Um, this, this chair used to fit over here, but this couch is a little bit longer than the one that was here, um, which is fine. I mean, I don't really care. I'm probably gonna take this out and I'm probably gonna put like a workbench over there or something. It'd be a lot easier. I got a bluey uh, um, stuffed toy sitting there that's actually going to be going to a charity auction up at a con in Portland, Maine that I'm actually heading back for in a couple weeks to go attend. Um, I got a whole bunch of mirrors behind this tapestry. Um, I don't, I, I can't really have mirrors exposed with those lighthouses um, for VR because it costs a lot of props. So I decided to stick this tapestry up here temporarily for now because I am, am going to remove these mirrors. I'm not really a big mirror fan. I think there's just too many. There's also more here on the stove. And more behind the stove. Um, two bay sink. One side's big, one side's small. It's got a pull out um, sink head. Uh, more storage under here. Like, this thing is loaded with storage. I also love the cabinetry. It's all like hard oak. Um, you don't really see modern RVs have this type of cabinetry anymore. I mean, I know it's a 98 and, you know, people like modern stuff, but I like the look of the oak. More storage under here. My furnace is under here. Right here I've got a controller for my inverter. Uh, I can uh, charge the batteries. It tells my battery uh, um, charge state, how many amps that I can pull in. I've got to sit to 30 right now. I've got switches that control all the lights. Makes it nice and bright in here. Um, just a couple lights though, I gotta replace the bulbs. They're not all working at the moment. Um, three burner stove. Um, I personally don't really like the three burners. I would love to have four because having this big one here in the middle makes it hard to cook stuff in the back, but I gotta leave it until I can replace it with something better. I do wanna put one of those um, dishwashers that can actually fit under here like have this cut out and have a dishwasher fitted that'd be nice uh, all my controls here um, water uh, water heater my generator can be started here I've got 776 hours on the generator um, that's great uh, microwave I uh, had to replace the one that was here because the one that was here was not cooking very well anymore um, so I just took my Samsung from my, uh, my old RV Trixie and just stuck it in here. I do have the trim that goes here. I am going to put it back, but first I need to um, configure a few things, like for the vents hanging here. Um, the, the microwave sits a little too low when the trim is here. I won't be able to open the door. So I'm going to address that. I got one of those fans, and uh, this fan wasn't working when I bought the RV, uh, mostly because the vent cover was stuck. It didn't want to open because it's powered more mirrors in the back that I'm going to remove. Pantry, all the goodies that are in here, you know, snacks, pastas, cereals, sausages, you know, 
stuff to get by. Double door fridge. It's propane and electric powered. Um, not much going on in here. Just a mess right now. <laughs> um, and then come further back. I've got one of those doors that can close for privacy. But I don't really have a need for it. It's RV. Uh, shower. Nice big shower. You know, it's like it, you can fit one person. Good size, got a skylight. It actually makes it nice during the day when you're showering. You don't have to have the light on, but at night it does have a light inside. So, that's good. Um, you got your vanity sink. Um, not really a fan of this color. I might have it swapped out for something nicer. Get rid of this plastic too. Mirrors and more stuff up here. Got all my um, charts and all the parts that are in here, model numbers, everything, so I can get replacement parts if I need to. Too many uh, towel racks. I'm, I think I might get rid of this towel rack and maybe put like my, my posters up here or something. Because, yeah, I don't need that many towel racks. Another hook here for when you want to grab your towel quickly when you're in the shower. Got my dream catcher here. Uh, kind of a bad, pl bad place for it, but. And, Got the bathroom in here, more storage in here. Um, the bathroom's nice. It's got a brand new toilet installed, but I don't really care for the toilet. I don't really fit on it too well. I might get that replaced. Um, bedroom in here. Cat in the way. <laughs> in here, it's got more mirrors in the back. Too many mirrors in, in this coach. Oops, sorry, baby. Too many mirrors in this, in this coach. I don't really care for them, so I'm probably going to get rid of quite a bit of them. Uh, I got a computer back here for editing or watching a movie when laying in bed. Um, also got a TV here. There was a, the other TV that was here when I got the RV just wouldn't work out. So I took the one from outside with its swivel arm and put it out here. So I could literally probably put the TV this way and watch that. Um, or I can just pull it all the way out, you know, have it in the middle instead of in the corner. More mirrors on the back wall here. I've got another dream catcher in here. I've got lighting galore. I want to replace all these two bulbs with LED ones when I can. Um, it's got the uh, day and night uh, shades. Right now it's in day mode and then you can pull it down for when you're going to bed and no one can see inside and the light won't bother you too much. But I am going to probably put blackout curtains over the top of them so it keeps it nice and dark in here. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it with um, with most of the interior of the RV. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of improvements. There's a lot of things I want to change. Um, a lot of things I want to add. I want to actually put LED stripping along the tops of the walls. You know, it'll actually um, reduce you know the lighting that I use. I won't have to use these as much at night because these do burn a lot of power and. When I'm boondocking, I'm going to have to use the generator uh, until I can get solar up on the roof. I don't have solar currently. Um, but yeah, anyway, this was Tobias. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this long video um, of my new home. Uh, Trixie's gone. I sold her several days ago. And now this is going to be my new life. And we're going to see what happens as I go along. So stay tuned for my future travels, adventures, and wherever I end up. And I'll see you all in my next video.